Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Media back with another Dokkan battle video. Now, some of you might have noticed that my face is a little bit more red than normal today. And that's because I was standing outside in the sun for literally 8 hours yesterday for the Toronto Raptors Championship Parade. And your boy got a little bit burnt, so that explains this. But anyways, getting back to the main topic at hand, the main thing I want to talk about today, which is just a bunch of exciting news that's been coming out over the past couple of days up until this morning about the upcoming events and banners for the JP side of the game. And some of it's going to be possibly at the end of June, but mostly in the month of July, which is when the uh, global side is going to be having their four year anniversary. So the first thing we're going to talk about in today's video, we're going to jump right into it, is kind of old news at this point, but I didn't get a chance to talk about it when it first came out, and that would be a new Dragon Ball Heroes collab coming to the JP side. And uh, at this point, we don't really know anything about it as far as the characters go, but all we know is a new collab is coming. Thank you to Team Dokener for the uh, news release, by the way. And um, some new characters are very likely going to be coming out as well. But you guys know with Dragon Ball Heroes, there are so many cool characters and so many just crazy stuff um, from that, I guess, franchise or series. I don't know what you would really consider it, but just a lot of crazy characters from Heroes, right? So um, the possibilities are kind of endless. Just off the top of my head, I can think of like like 30 characters I would want to see from Heroes in Dokkan. I mean, there's Golden Cooler, there's Super Saiyan 4, Bardock. There's Cumber, there's Xeno Cell, um, so on and so forth. So if you guys know anything about Heroes, let me know in the comments down below which characters you would love to see from Heroes uh, in Dokkan as part of this collab. And of course, as more information comes out, as we hear more from Dokner, from Kawaii, and so on and so forth, I'll let you guys know as well in future videos. But for now, all you really know is that a Heroes collab is coming, new characters, new units are most likely coming, and... Uh, it's gonna be exciting. So that's the first bit of news. Kinda of old news, I know, but I just want to make sure that everybody who missed it knows about it. Next up, we have some news from uh, Dokkan Air, and also I believe that some of the sources that Dokkan Air is using is also Team Dokkaner, so thank you to both of them, I guess. And uh, it says right here that Gohan Super Saiyan and Gohan, or and Goten Super Saiyan LR, so basically LR, Gohan, and Goten, AKA Go Bros, whatever you wanna call it, that LR is uh, coming to JP, and I believe it's gonna be part of a two-part celebration. So the first part is gonna be the Gohan and Goten banner, so it's their own separate banner. And then for part two, it looks like there's gonna be the Tana Bata celebration that uh, JP got last year with, if you guys don't remember, it was this uh, crazy banner with the Tech Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku, but also the three-year LRs as well. So the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito were also on that banner. Um, so for this year with the Tanabata celebration, it's gonna be a banner that features the LR Super Saiyan 4s, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta from the four-year celebration or four-year anniversary, right? And um, this would make it the first time that these units come back to JP. So obviously people are very very excited about that but one thing i do want to put out there is that if you guys don't remember last year there was a big thing a big controversy with the tanabata celebration i guess it's not a controversy but it's like people were kind of pissed and the main thing about that banner was that while it featured amazing amazing units um the rates were awful right it was like a five percent overall ssr rate versus the usual ten percent i believe and there were a million featured units on it so the rates for each of the LRs was actually like 0.25% or something like that, which is just awful. And uh, I hope they learned from last year. I hope they, you know, take some of the criticism that the player base gave them last year and actually make it a regular like 10% banner um, and maybe a few less featured units and um, just overall better rates for the four year LRs. Now, I wouldn't put it past Bandai to just do the same thing as last year because they knew that people would still, or they know that people would still pull for for that banner or on that banner because it's got the Super Saiyan 4s, but it'd just be kind of nice if they actually gave us like better rates. So we'll see what happens, but um, that is coming. I believe it's going to be LR, Gohan, and Goten for the first part of whatever the celebration is. And then for part two, it's going to be that Tanabata banner. Um, we don't know what the Gohan and Goten banner is going to look like or really the Tanabata banner uh, aside from the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s 
So uh, once more details come out, of course, I'll keep you guys posted as always. Um, oh, by the way, I don't know if I'm saying Tanabata right either. Like, is it like Tanabata or Tanabata or something else? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm obviously not great with uh, pronunciation, so let me know if you guys are, you know, more uh, educated than I am. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then if we move down just a little bit, Tokan Air also says that Broly Tech LR is coming. Um, ignore the, the second part, because at this at this point, I think they were a bit unsure about what exactly was happening, like which Broly we're getting, but uh, just focus on this, which is the Tech LR Broly. And uh, of course, if you guys don't know, the Tech LR Broly currently is a global only unit, but we knew that he was going to drop on JP at some point, and it looks like it's going to be sometime in July, so... Uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff on the way for JP in July. Um, LR Gohan and Goten, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are returning, and uh, also Broly, uh, probably a legendary summon banner, I'm guessing, very similar to Japan or to uh, Global's banner. And um, yeah, that's also coming. And I believe this was also confirmed by Dokener too. So we got multiple sources saying that the Tech LR Broly is coming. At this point, I'm still personally a little bit salty about him because I didn't pull him in like over a thousand stones, but. Uh, he is a really amazing LR, he is freaking awesome, his animations look awesome, and uh, I know a lot of people on you know JP are very excited for him, so if you guys are summoning for him, good luck, hope you guys have better luck than I did, and uh, yeah, there we go. So, oh, one thing I do want to say by the way is that a lot of people seem to be sleeping on the LR Gohan and Goten, the LR Go Bros, um, and are more hyped for the tech LR Broly, which I kind of understand, but at the same time, you shouldn't sleep on the LR Gohan and Goten, man, because I, I honestly think that Gohan and Goten is actually a better overall LR than the Tech LR Broly. That's just my opinion, and I think that a lot of people out there do tend to agree with that assessment as well, but um, <laughs> just because they're not as hype, right, like Gohan and Goten are not as hype as the Broly, I wouldn't recommend necessarily people to skip it, especially because it's going to be a Dokkan Fest banner for the Go Bros. Um, it's going to have some really good units on it, so... Yeah, just like keep that in mind. Don't don't just straight up skip the Gohan and Goten just because they're not super exciting. Because they're really, really good. Seriously. Anyways, so there we go. We got those three. And then the last thing I want to talk about real quick is um, the physical Broly Extreme Z Awakening. Which, at one point, I think people weren't too sure if it was going to be like just the Tech LR Broly or just the uh, physical Broly Extreme Z Awakening. By the way, we're talking about the old physical uh, Broly, not the new one, the Dragon Ball Super one talking about the 70% lead one that came out like a million years ago um, who is in dire need of an Extreme Z Awakening and it does look like Dokener is saying that both the Tech LR Broly and the physical Broly Extreme Z Awakening are both coming out um, possibly sometime in July maybe a little bit after I'm, I'm not really sure about the timeline of these events but I'm just going off of what I can see and it looks like both of those are coming out at some point soon in the near future for Japan. So just to recap, we got um, the Dragon Ball Heroes collab coming up, we got the LR Gohan and Goten um, banner coming out, we got the Tanabata banner, once again not sure about the pronunciation, with the LR Super Saiyan 4s returning to JP for the first time, and we also have the uh, Tech LR Broly, not sure if I said that already, and also the Physical Broly Extreme Z Awakening. So, lots of crazy stuff, lots of exciting news uh, that's been coming out on Twitter, uh, courtesy of Dokkan Air, courtesy of Dokkaner, courtesy of Kawaii, so on and so forth. And uh, of course, as always, I want to give a huge shout out, huge thank you to all these people, all these leakers. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say, guys. Just a lot of crazy stuff coming out. Let me know in the comments down below which of these things that I talked about you're the most excited for. And uh, also let me know if you do know about heroes. I'm not sure if I asked this already. Um, which unit you want to see the most? Which character you want to see the most? I personally really, really want to see a Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. If you guys don't know, Bardock is my personal favorite character in the entire franchise. And uh, the more Bardocks are in the game, the happier I'll be. That was the doorbell. Don't worry about it. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And as always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedia, signing out.